G'day guys, uh, just finished putting the, putting all the pavers back um, today. So we swept it all in, compacted it all with that. Um, yeah, I bought this new little new little tool f attachment for my, um, I'll show you that, for my jackhammer there. So that's all it is, and it sits, sits on it. It's, it's a two piece, but I don't know if you can ever get that out again. And that just goes out on your jackhammer and you duk, 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 knock it away, bang, bang, bang. And it, and it seems to do a good job. And uh, so see there, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good and level and everything like that, but if you do, yeah, you drop it down. It does stick up a little bit, but the trouble is too, like when you're trying to match paving, it's, it's very difficult. Normally when the pavers, they just compact it all and then they level off the sand and then stick the, um, you know, stick the pavers on, lay them hair and bone or whatever they want to do. Where this one, um, you got to knock them down with a mallet, you know, to make sure that they're going to sit right. Is, it, is the sand compacted enough? And then they, they just started chipping a bit, which is a bit disappointing, but I'm sure I can get some spares from somewhere. So there's a few chips, but Anyway, I hope the uh, owner doesn't notice. Anyway, so got all that done and um, got the, you know, got the inspections opening in. That one's for the toilet. You know, it's quite important. Underneath there's a, a square that that sits underneath, so we put some concrete under there to support it. And also people put the jetter down there and stuff. So anyway, so I'm glad today's over because I don't like um, putting the pavers back. That's that's pretty. It's pretty hard work, bending over and knocking knocking stuff. So. Yeah, um, so Brendo's coming in a few days, which will be good. So I can start putting the taps in the wall and things like that. So we went to Parkwood Plum Tech the other day. Emma out there, she was lovely. They're busy at the moment, right? So you really have to book. So we booked an appointment and um, went through the, some of the tap wear and things like that and what, what would match. And uh, Kylie had a you know, color palette of all the tiles and stuff. And then, yeah, when you lay different, you know, the tops of the bench, some of them, they really popped. And other ones you thought, well, that'd be really nice, but they just didn't work, so. That was good. So we're going with um, Chroma tap tapware. Um, so we've got a, you know, a couple of mixers. Uh, we've got this really cool shower rail. Um, like it's got a hand shower and the, the big rain head. And then we're going to do a rain head out of the ceiling as well. So do a couple of those. And we're using the brush brass. Now, one thing I think is really cool is that the, um, the, you can buy, so you buy the mixer that you install on the wall. And then there's like a trim kit. So you put the, the handle on and all that sort of stuff later on down the track, you know, like when, when the bathroom is finished, you can order it. And the good thing about that is, say in uh, four or five years time, you don't like brushed brass anymore and you want to go back and want to go black or something, then you can just change the trim kit and not have to knock out the wall, which is really, really good. So um, I'll show you, this is, the, this, is like, this is like the mixer that you buy. So that's the bit you give to your plumber and he'll stick it in the wall for you. And then later on down the track, you just got to get like, um, yeah, the, the, the trim kit or something, you know, that'll that'll go on the top of it. So anyway, we'll stick all those in uh, next week or something before Brendo comes and make a start. So yeah, it's exciting times. And um, yes, have another rest today. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned and um, yeah, like and subscribe, people. All right, catch you later.